today we're going to show you every location of the Algarve Horse Alarm Foundation because you guys have not one center for all of them. You have different locations, yes. like five, six. Yeah, um, we started Algarve Horse Alarm from our own houses. Uh, so this is also why we don't have one location. Um, we have several fields all spread around this area and every field has its own uh, volunteers. So yeah, and here we have the boys gang. Um, the boys gang are together because one, they are all boys. Um, Dream is an older horse who is uh, recovering from a rescue. Uh, he came in much skinnier than he is at the moment. Uh, then we have Encanted Will. He is a foal rescued uh, also uh, around six months ago. And Temozu, who was rescued around eight months ago. They are very happy to live together. They have the, sp the space to run around, to um, enjoy themselves and have some quality life. So how much room do they get? Um, well, we really like them to move around properly. Uh, and I would say, yeah, more or less our big fields are at least one hectare. And yeah, it's enough for them to have to search around for their food, walk around, go and drink their water, come back, have some exercise and yeah. Live like a horse. Live like a horse, exactly, yeah. yeah. So do you put horses in a stable or are they always outside? Uh, yeah, we have um, almost all our horses only in fields uh, because we believe that's the way to keep horses. Honestly, when uh, people talk about having a horse all day long in a stable, I think it's torture as well, so we don't do that. <laughs> no. Well, now we are at the old boys field. Who is this? <laughs> this is Fado. <laughs> and uh, he is very old. He is almost 30 years old. And uh, we also have another horse here. And he is called Garoto. And he is also about the same age. Uh, they are together in this field because they both need a little bit of more special care. As you can see, he is very skinny. Um, his teeth are in very bad shape, so he needs to be uh, fed in high quantities of food. Um, and yeah, here he has space to walk around and all the attention to get of only one volunteer. Well, now we are at the third location. Uh, can you tell me a bit more, Olaf, about the horses here? How many, how many horses are here? How big is the field? Okay, there are any questions. Uh, the first question we have in the moment, five horses here. They are at one of our recovering fields. You know that we have different places, talking to people if they have space, and we gave them sometimes our horses as grass cutters. It's a win-win situation. And these five are really in a recovering field. And this field is nearly seven, eight hectares. And a friend of us who's living there said, I can't do anything with the, with the land and that's why you can take it. And then we separate four or five fields for our recovering horses that they have um, something to eat. Of course, at the moment we have the end of September, there is not really green grass. There's not really much to, to, to eat, but they have to eat and they will be Step by step by step, a little bit fatter. Yeah. We 
we are now at the next place and it's a quite special place can you tell me why uh, we call it the intensive care basically it's uh, the place where the horses arrive when they first rescue it's the place where we can give them some more special care uh, visit them more times a day so not only twice but more often and normally the rescue horses come in they stay here for one month or two depending on their state and then they go over to the other fields In the fields surrounding our apartment live three horses of the foundation. And I don't know exactly how many hectares they have, but as you can see they have lots and lots of space. And it's clear that they are enjoying themselves. We are now at the last location and Olaf, can you maybe tell us where we are exactly? Okay, we are in the near Palau de Sao João and this is the place, 23 hectares, it's my private one and uh, I started to, to build a little place for riding for me and uh, a little stable and as I met Femke I said okay, let's use it also for rescue horses. Yeah. And uh, in this uh, 23 hectares we have uh, a lot of plants, we plant trees, more than 16,000 in 2013 and uh, the horses have space between these trees. They can walk up and down and up and down and we had here some fields. One field is maybe five, six, seven hectares of uh, water place here downstairs and then they can drink when they want, they can move with the way they want, climbing, all the things. Yeah. It's good for her condition and good for her muscles. 